with another video. Today I want to do a, a little, a little known, known craft, and that is uh, this: boxes and bins for office supplies or anything else. And it's going to be, we're going to be using index cards. You can get index cards from the dollar store or at Walmart or anywhere else. So let's let's get going. So I have four by six uh, index cards. Of course, the dollar store it'll be pretty much a dollar. So let's start by doing some folding. Let me get the camera to where you can see it. Okay. Okay, this you see here. So you're gonna need to fold. Fold it in lengthwise, lengthwise, this way, about quarter of an inch, or two, three quarters of an inch, roughly, and you can just eyeball it. So this is what it looks like here, and do the same for the other side. So we have it like this. Okay, fold them back out. And do similarly on the width side. Here it is on for that one, and again for that one. Next, you're going to cut slits where where the, the approximately where they intersect on on the width side so so you'll see that here's one and you're gonna cut it like where where you folded folded that on all four sides and then oh another thing what you can do is do a little design before you do any cutting I'll just do a simple design for simplicity. I'm not very good at drawing, but you kind of get the point. So now I'm going to fold, fold up this flap here, both of these flaps, and you're going to put these, these smaller flaps inside. So they kind of look like a wall. You're gonna, and you're going to use tape, or, or what you can use is staples. And just, you're just going to use a little bit of tape, hold it in place, and then just tape it in place. Kind of like, like this here. And do the same for the other. For the other, the other one, and then it doesn't matter if it overlaps. And then do the same thing for the other two flaps on the other side. And you know, try to try to line up the. Uh, the sides if possible but it doesn't have to be perfect so here's the finished product and you're gonna do that do that again for the next one I already have one pre-made just for 
and you just here's the two bins so you just and one of them is actually a little slightly larger than the other so just put them in and you got a box a, a very small box and you can actually use it to house a gift card or or uh, school supplies so you're going to need drawing supplies you're going to need uh, well, scissors and tape or staples again and just repeat the process and so try try to make it as straight as possible and then you use the scissors to cut it and you only need to cut it up to the uh, the crease on each side and if you're gonna make a box try to have to have one one of one of these bins slightly bigger than the others. Now, if 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 the uh, flap is too too high and you want to chop trim off, trim off a little bit, you can just do that. For me, I don't really need to. So. And one more thing you're gonna need is the the contents. You know what the stuff that you're gonna put in the box or the bin. So in fact, you could just put in if you want. You can just put in. You can put in some band aids. And you just put it in there and you've got you've got it or you can put um, paper clips small binder clips or like I said a gift card of some sort okay that's it for my craft video and and if you now if you're gonna use put use as a bin then you won't you won't need to put the two together. What you can do is get some tape or scissors and tape the two bins together. The or tape however many bins you want together like this. And they will they can function as they, they can function as a DIY storage bin. Or a storage container. Okay, that's all I have for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope it's useful to you. Let me know in the comments below if uh, if you enjoyed it, and give a like, comment, give a like, comment, and subscribe. All right, have a great day. See ya.